It was like something from a horror movie. I woke up in a dark room on a metal table with my arms tied up. The table was so cold on my back and I was too weak to move. I looked around the room and there was another girl lying on the table next to me. Who was she? My ex-girlfriend. My ex-girlfriend, Evelyn, was lying next to me. How did she get there? She couldn't have been there. It was impossible. There's no way she could have been there, but she was. A man walked in. He had a blue paisley print cloth covering his mouth. He untied my arms and untied Evelyn, but she was still asleep. He took off the cloth. We're going to have a nice little talk. Who are you? You don't need to know that yet. Where am I? You like to ask questions, don't you, Adams? How do you know my name? People can't stop talking about you. I found the strength to sit up. I looked over to Evelyn. Her face was bruised. I know her. I know. Why does her face look like that? I found her on the beach. Just like you. You saw me? I watched you from my lighthouse. Your lighthouse? Let her go. I will. If you answer my questions, I'll let you go with her. What do you want to know? I've seen a few people arrive here over the past few years. They wash up on the beach and I'm trying to work out why. Why did you take me and tie me up? Because you wouldn't have come if I asked. Besides, a little bit of drama never hurt anyone. What do you remember about how you got here? <laughs> the last thing I remember is being in my office. I'm an explorer, and I was planning a trip to Africa, and suddenly the room got cold, and I got sleepy, and I woke up here. That's the last thing you remember? That's it? No, there has to be more to it than that. Well, I can't give you anything else. My friend is hurt, so please just let us go. How do you know her? She was my girlfriend. From home? How could she be here? Exactly. You're not the only person trying to work out what happens here. Where did you go? Evelyn was asleep, so Merrick helped me carry her to Nora's. I left her in my bed and told Nora to look after her. You trusted Nora? I didn't have a choice. Leaving her there was... Just as safe as anywhere else. I went to see Fable and Diana. It's good to see you again, Adams. You said you'd tell me what you knew after I'd been here a little longer. I want to know everything. Where would you like us to start? I saw something yesterday, some sort of ritual. Of course. Today's the 23rd, isn't it? Why is that important? On the 22nd of every month... The people of the town have a sort of sacrificial ritual. What are they sacrificing? The souls. To whom? The lighthouse. That doesn't make any sense. The people here worship that lighthouse like it's some sort of god. I just spoke to the lighthouse keeper. You spoke to Merrick? Yes. That's impossible. No one ever sees Merrick. I didn't think he even existed. He took me and tied me to a table in a dark room. And then I saw... What did you see? My ex-girlfriend. What? My ex-girlfriend from home. He said he found her on the beach. Two girls. In less than a week. Where is your friend now? She's still asleep. I left her with Nora. Something happens to the people of this town, and everything revolves around that lighthouse. It gives off readings I've never seen before. Gases full of chemicals that shouldn't exist. I don't understand. Join the club. You think the lighthouse is brainwashing people? Something like that. Don't trust anyone. Even if they seem friendly, or they have good intentions, you don't tell them... Anything. 
what if they know everything already? Then you're fucked. You said you left your friend? With Nora? Yes. Go and check on her. Why? You care about her? Yes. Then go and check on her. She might run the bed and breakfast, but she's no caretaker. That must have scared you. More than anything, I ran to Nora's. Back to Evelyn? That's the thing. Evelyn wasn't there. Ember Green Bay Episode 3, The Lighthouse Keeper. The voice of Adams was Sarah Gordon. The voice of Diana was Rachel Clark. The voice of Man was Paul Kandarian. The voice of Fable was Mike Garnder. The voice of Merrick was Stuart James Barham. The music was written and composed by Rebecca Doherty. It was written, directed, and edited by Luna Rose and is a Loud Voices Silent Streets production.